Florian Gadiel is going to switch to Savat. Savat is like foot fencing. You see lots of... Wow. That was three kicks with a spin. Woo! That would have potentially knocked him out if this were a real fight. Um, yeah. Savat people, they are much more light on their feet. And they have almost a foot up in the air like half the time. That was a really cool axe kick. A three kick combo, like our boxer says in the captions. So that was almost like a mix of a push kick and an axe kick. Also notice, because he's doing savat now, he has gloves, right? Boxing or kickboxing gloves, not like MMA gloves like the previous one. Oh, that was pretty cool. A double roundhouse. When I used to fight when I was a little kid, I would always do that to my peers. I would throw two round cow kicks in a row. Like the the kick wouldn't go down to the ground. It would stay up in the air and kick again. So there's definitely efficacy to this, especially if you're fighting someone that's only punching. You definitely can get away with some of these. Um, I don't know how you just... Oh, that was so cool. A little fake to... Uh, Tornado kick to a spinning or a turning push kick or a turning back kick, spinning back, whatever you call it. There's so many names for these things. So we see three kick combos in this Savat fighter. Wow. I might put some. Oh! A, so he kind of checked the jab and then followed it up with a cross. That was pretty cool. So he checked it with the same hand. Interesting. Boxer's getting a little bit flustered. Box pan. So pan. He's had at least 50 fights. So he's a little bit more skilled than the previous boxer we featured. Ooh. He's not been able to deal with those uh, turning push kicks or those spinning back kicks, whatever you call those. This is one of the coolest showcases of Savat I've ever seen. Oof. He's using the parry a lot. He's using his power hand, his dominant hand, to parry. That was head off center line a little... Wow. That was one of the most beautiful counters I've seen. Head off center line and then a calf kick by his dominant leg or his power leg. Oh, there we go. Boxer throwing more combos, you see. Wow. Dude, round two, man. Please give us some round two. Oh, it ended too early. We definitely have to watch this once in slow motion. So, the boxer, of course has his bladed stance, right? And he's fighting an orthodox Savat fighter. So again, a th that was a four kick combo. The last spinning hook kick definitely would have hurt him if it actually connected. So good, nice and controlled sparring. Look at this. Look at him looking. Look at him looking before he kicks, right? That's how you throw your spin kicks. Well, try to look when you're kicked, try to look before you kick. It's not that easy but you have to develop the muscle memory so that was the thigh kick we saw see the boxer doesn't know how to advance because he's getting thwarted by all these crazy kicks there you go that crazy uh, we have that kick in capoeira too it's like a hook kick but it's an angled hook kick right there this one it's like an angled hook kick there's a special name for it in capoeira i forgot what it's called but I actually learned to slowly throw that kick in Kapoeira. It's something I've never did in Kung Fu. So, see, notice Boxer's stance is still very, very, very wide. Still asking for kicks. That was a good counter, so I didn't see that earlier. He countered that kick with a step-in jab to the body. So, if the guy misses his kick, right, you got an entry point. So he threw a cross without setting it up, the boxer. So this Savak guy obviously knows his distance really well, especially as the shorter guy, but also as the kicker. So that thigh kick connected. Look at that. That was the double. Could have been a triple little snapping roundhouse kick. I loved throwing those as a kid. Caught many, many of my peers. That would have hit the face, definitely. So... That was a face, and then he snapped it back into the body. Oh my god, I freaking love Savat. I think Savat's one of the coolest kicking styles.
Look at that. Two push kicks he committed to a roundhouse kick with another one. Look at that. He spun back around three spin kicks. Right? Whenever you think you might turn your back, just turn it into a spin kick. That seems to be one of the Savat tendencies, right? Every time you think you gave his back, like, there's room for him to come in. And the boxer thought about it, right? So the boxer's already charging in. But look at this. He beats him. Savat guy beats him with this turning push kick or turning side kick, turning back kick, whatever you call it. So, it's, this is... I don't think I've ever featured this level of savat before, so there's always a first look at it. Like a, almost like a stomping step in side kick, like a stomping kick followed by a kick to the upper body. So here it was a parry, right? A check, a parry to directly across. That was really cool. Followed up by a leg kick too. Just so you know, there is a skill difference between these two, right? One guy is a former one championship fighter. The other guy's a Taiwanese professional boxer. But, you know, like even professional boxers in Taiwan have jobs. So, like day jobs. So, there's definitely a skill difference. So, don't think this shows that one style is better than the other. Although, I could argue any style that has this level of kicking in addition to punching is probably going to be an equally skilled person that only uses his fists. I don't think that's controversial at all. That's very, very, um, like, supported by a lot of evidence. So, the boxer actually starts doing better later on, probably because boxing, they're used to longer rounds and jump roping and stuff. So, you actually saw the boxer, I think if this went on another round, the boxer might have connected a lot more. So, see, that hook kick, the... Savak guy didn't follow it up with something. He's getting a little tired. See, he's not following up his kicks with all those cool combos that he was in the beginning. And this is when the boxer, he starts doing more combos. We're going to see it soon. There it is. See, the Savak guy just catch. Although that was so cool. Head off center line to almost like a banda sweep in um, Capoeira. But it's basically a very low kind of roundhouse kick to... The lower, lower leg. So, but as you can see, the Savak guy's covering up more. He's, right, look at that. So, he's definitely tired. Boxer still has a lot of tank in him, and then the time is out. So, this guy's name is Xiaopan, the boxer. So, make sure to go follow him. Tell him, fight commentary breakdown sent you. Maybe even try to say it in Chinese. Practice your Chinese. Go follow him. He's so cool. I interviewed him, too, for fight commentary chats. So make sure to check that out. Keep sending me these awesome channels. I discover Xiaopan because two of you sent me his channel. So let's get more of these great, especially if you can have these cool exchanges between styles that we don't see so we can feature them and blow them up. Send it to me, please. All right, guys. Fight commentary breakdowns. Follow Xiaopan.